How to Become an Audio Engineer, brought to you by JobSearchChannel.com. What's going on today, guys? So today we're going to be going over the question of who is Dave Matthews Band music producer? So I've been learning about music production for about 10 years now, but I'm still learning every single day. I think music is one of those things that when you get into it, you quickly have to realize that you will always be learning. Uh, music in both the technology and the business side is always changing. It's always evolving, and especially now, it's evolving exponentially, more than it ever has before. And I think that you always need to be kind of asking questions and seeking out different answers if you want to be successful in the music industry because you never want to be behind the curve, right? I got started in music because music has always been a huge, huge passion of mine. And, and, and though music production wasn't necessarily at first, it kind of ended up blossoming into that. Now, I started off as a singer and guitarist playing in different bands, doing tours here and there across the U.S., and I kind of wanted to get in on the other side to see what music production was all about. I always found it very interesting that a producer could have such a big stamp on, on uh, music or an artist's record, and I kind of wanted to get in on that creative side to see what I could do. So I went to school, studied music, and did a few internships at some studios out here in L.A., which were absolutely wonderful. I highly recommend uh, for anybody that's getting into the music production side of things or, you know, mix engineering or, or whatever, to definitely go in and get an internship because it's so important to have that sort of hands-on experience. After that, I was spat out on the other side where I got a job as a music producer, composer, and sync writer at a studio out here in Los Angeles where I've been working for the past two years full-time, and it's been absolutely wonderful. Now, you might want to know the answer to the question of who is Dave Matthews Band music producer because you love the Dave Matthews Band, you love that late 90s, early 2000s alternative rock music, and you want to see you know, who is the person that is behind all of that. Well, that's why we're going to be talking about Steve Lillywhite. Now, Steve Lillywhite has a very, very, very long resume. He's spent several decades as pretty much one of the most acclaimed and successful producers in British pop music. I mean, he's worked with tons of uh, incredible acts, including U2, Peter Gabriel, Morrissey, uh, the list goes on and on and on. He kind of started out in the... I guess early 1970s and kind of worked his way up as most producers do doing you know internships at small studios and such and eventually started working on some pretty big albums again U2, um, Talking Heads, he worked with Peter Gabriel, he worked with uh, The Pogues um, and you know I could, I could go on forever but he uh he worked with a lot of bands throughout the 80s, which eventually led him to the Dave Matthews Band in the mid-90s. And Dave Matthews Band was pretty much his first uh, American act that he really, really focused on. He's pretty much responsible for the major label debut Under the Table and Dreaming, as well as the 1996 album Crash. And Dave Matthews Band fans will know those albums very, very well. So he kind of got their career started as a band. And I think if you're interested in learning more about you know, music production in the 90s or uh, music production, British pop production in the you know, mid to late 80s, then Steve Lillywhite is definitely a name that you want to check out. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to check the description and get in touch with us. All right, now, take it easy.